Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a quick video about the silent treatment. Um, I did a thread on Twitter basically explaining the silent treatment and how people use it as a form of abuse. And I get a lot of DMs on a daily basis basically asking me about the silent treatment, the psychology behind it, and people just sharing that they're going through it right now and asking me how to cope with it. So I wanted to make this video just to help anybody who might be going through it because I've been through it myself and um, it's very harmful and it's very traumatic so I wanted to basically break down the psychology behind it and then give people tips on how to cope with it and what you can do basically to prevent it in the future. So if you read my thread on Twitter and I'll link that down below if you haven't, um, I basically explain how when you're a child you are dependent upon your parents love, affection and validation and sometimes your parents fail to give you that and if you are the child of a narcissist, the child of an alcoholic, the child of any abusive parent in general, then more than likely this validation, affection, and love was withheld from you. And that makes you much more susceptible to being abused via the silent treatment. So basically what the silent treatment is, is when a partner, whether it be a friendship, a parent, a romantic relationship, withholds attention and affection from you, completely ignores you, uh, stops giving you validation, stops giving you compliments. Basically, they act like you're invisible and that you're not there. And abusers do this purposely because they are aware of the psychology behind the silent treatment. Um, if you, especially if they know that you have been abused as a child or that you have abandonment issues or issues along that line. Abusers will use that to their advantage and when you do something that makes them mad, you do something to piss them off, they are going to completely ignore you. And they do this in order to make you feel invisible, in order to make you feel unworthy of attention, unworthy of love. And they do this basically to make you feel powerless, like you have no control. If you watched my last video on narcissistic personality disorder where I share my experience with a overt narcissist, I briefly touched base on the fact that he would ignore me as a means of mind control and that sometimes I will go two, three days without hearing from him. And um, just be aware that when people are doing this, when abusers are doing this, they are seeing your text, they're seeing your calls, they are purposely ignoring them and every time you do call them or you do give them attention, um, they feed off of that. They feed off of your negative energy. They feed off of um, that negative emotion and it makes them feel all powerful. It makes them feel godly. It makes them feel like they have complete control over your brain. And they are also well aware that all they have to do is pick up the phone. All they have to do is text you back to get you out of this cycle or out of this downward cycle that your brain is spinning into when they're ignoring you. So they know they have the power to stop it and they know they have the power to start it. And that's what they get off on. That's what they feed on, um, which is horrible. So they can watch you go down this spiral, like I said, from the silent treatment and do nothing about it and completely withdraw their emotions um, and completely not feel any type of sympathy or empathy for you. And then on top of that, they will take it a step further because if you have experienced a silent treatment, you know that it starts out like you're sad, you're upset, you're trying to reach out to them, you're trying to contact them, and then eventually it turns into rage or it turns into anger. And you're just like, okay, like you are basically grasping for any way to get their attention to get a reaction out of them. So you might even stoop so low as to start like throwing jabs at them like texting them like long angry distressed text messages and they also get off on the fact that they can pull their phone out and show other people hey look look how crazy this person is look what she's texting me like this person is a nut well she or he because anybody can be subjected to this type of abuse so they'll pull their phone out and show everybody that you're texting them and that you're crazy and oh my god like a sh she or he's a stalker like they won't leave me alone and to the outside world you are looking like basically like you're emotionally unstable and that you're unhinged and they're looking like an emotionally well-balanced normal human being but that's not the case they're not emotionally balanced they're not a normal human being they are abusive and I think what makes this this <clears throat> I think what what makes this form of abuse so dire or what makes it so crazy is that it's a form of abuse that people can't see. 
and what you can if somebody slaps you in your face or your spouse punches you in your face you can go to the cops and say look look at my eye arrest him or you can go to your friends and your family your co-workers and say look what he did to me or look what she did to me and they will give you sympathy and they will try to help you but when it comes to this form of abuse there is no help because you can't see what is happening nobody can see what's going on inside of your brain so um, and then not only that, but they'll dismiss you as crazy. Like, oh God, like get over it. If you go on my mentions right now, you can see like in that thread, people saying there's something wrong with y'all. Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all get upset over being, you know, the silent treatment. Like y'all need to get y'all lives together. Like get y'all minds right. And it's just like, some people just don't get it. Some people don't understand. But if you've been through it, you know exactly what's going on. I'm just here to bring light to the fact that this is, I'm just here to bring light to the fact that this is done purposely and this is a form of abuse just like physical abuse is a form of abuse. And the silent treatment can lead people down the path of suicide. It causes people to basically snap and lose their minds. Um, if I'm pretty sure if you are active on social media you saw that story about the girl who was continuously texting her baby's father. Uh, and he was just ignoring her, ignoring her, ignoring her, and then she snapped and ended up killing one of their kids. Now, people were saying, oh, why wasn't he answering? He's just as much at fault. I agree to a certain extent. I think that, well, first of all, he is just as much at fault because on Facebook he had already displayed that he knew that she was abusive. But on top of that, I'm pretty sure this was a case where he was implementing the silent treatment or he was just ignoring her and she was probably emotionally unhinged from childhood and that caused her to really snap and lose her mind to the point where she would kill her own child and no that's not an excuse that's not um oh don't justify her actions it's not justification but if people are unaware of these issues these issues will continue so how many more people have to commit suicide or how many more people have to commit homicide or how many more people have to end up going down this spiral for people to understand that emotionally and mental abuse are just as damaging as physical abuse. Just as damaging as physical abuse and it needs to be brought to the light. But getting back on point, when somebody's implementing the silent treatment, it makes you feel powerless, it makes you feel worthless, it makes you feel unlovable. And if you look up those three emotions, those three emotions tend to be tied to suicidal thoughts. Then you start to feel like you don't, you lose your will to live. Um, some people, it doesn't get to that extreme point. If they're not suicidal, then they might just be severely depressed, not able to eat, not able to sleep, not able to function correctly. For once an upbeat, lively person, and then when you're going through this, you become, I mean, all your energy is drained. You lose the will to do things that you once loved to do and all you want and all you can focus on is getting that love and affection back from the person who is withholding it from you. Now like I said, if you are an emotionally stable and emotionally balanced person who had a healthy childhood, there's a very good chance that you won't even attract a narcissist or a sociopath into your life and you don't even have to worry about this type of thing because you will most likely be disgusted and turned off by a narcissist or a sociopath if you are emotionally balanced because from the beginning <clears throat> go watch my narcissistic personality disorder video because i explained it from the beginning you will be turned off by their tactics but like i said if you are a child of codependency if you are a child of an alcoholic if you are a child that has been subjected to any type of child abuse sexual abuse or things of that matter if you are codependent and things of that sort this you can attract abusive people and they will use your childhood trauma against you and the silent treatment will trigger inside of you the things that you went through when you were a child um that feeling of feeling invisible that feeling of feeling worthless that feeling of feeling powerless and trying to do anything in your power to get the affection back from the people who are supposed to love you or they claim that they love you and then next thing you know they're trying to trigger emotional wounds that's not love that's not love that is abuse and it's severe abuse and you need to get far away from that person now how to cope how you cope with the silent treatment is this basically you mimic back what they're doing to you you mirror them so when someone's giving you the silent treatment you see they withdraw you can see they have no expression on their faces you see they look right past you as if they can't see you that's what you do in order to counter the silent treatment don't show them for one second that you are bothered by the silent treatment that you are hurt by the silent treatment because that's fuel they get fueled off of that and they know every time this person does something to piss me off i know exactly what to do to them so basically 
do not give them the satisfaction of knowing that they are emotionally affecting you. Completely mirror them, ignore them, act like they're just so childish, roll your eyes when they're around, just basically act like it doesn't bother you. And that's easier said than done, but once you are aware of what they're doing, then it becomes much easier to counter what they're doing. So if you're aware that they're giving you the silent treatment, you can easily mimic back what they're doing to you. And also, if you can get away from those people, break up with them, lose contact with them, do it because they're purposely abusing you. They know what they're doing. There's no need to try to stick around. And after you've completely cut this person off, um, it's time to heal yourself. So if you are a codependent, if you have abandonment issues, attachment trauma, or if you've just been subjected to child abuse in general, you need to heal those wounds and those traumas so that then you can stop attracting these type of people into your life. So that then um, even if you do attract them, you'll see them from a mile away and you'll stare clear of them. And then um, they won't be able to abuse you in this way anymore more so i hope that this was helpful guys uh subscribe down below because i'm trying to upload as much as possible in the month of january and um i will see you guys in the next one and i hope this was helpful